Hey first graders, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to Number cor Corner. Sorry, I have the hiccups. So for today, we are still going to work on recognizing, describing, and extending patterns in our calendar over here. And we're working on adding and taking away 10 from any number over in our um, on our 120 chart. And you're also going to have a worksheet to do that's in your Number Corner book at the end of Number Corner today. And that is going to help you work on adding and taking away 10 from any number, as well as adding and subtracting 1 from any number. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you guys knew that today was going to be yellow with a word problem on it. That's exactly what came next in the pattern, and think about what might come tomorrow. So, our first we're going to start with the date. It is still the month of May. So let's write that down. Today is May. It is the 19th. We see that right there. And it is the year 2020. All right, let's write it the short way. It's the fifth month of the year. It's the 19th day of the month and it's 2020. All right, friends. So, yesterday, Tad landed on 63, and today we have a new clue. So it says word problem. Since it was really small, I typed it up here. It says, jump, Tad, jump. There it goes again. You might catch it, just add 10. Excuse me. So, I want you to think in your mind, he's on the 63, where will, where will he be when he adds 10? I hope you said 73. So remember, moving down on the 120 chart is adding 10. So he moved from the 63 down to the 73. So what would the equation for that be? Try to beat me in writing it, writing it out. We started on the 63. His number got higher, so we added. How many did he add? It equals 73. Did you write this? 63 plus 10 equals 73? I hope so. All right. Now we need to color it in and it should be ye yellow for today. Sorry friends, I've been trying to get rid of these hiccups for so long. I figured I better just record the lesson anyways. All right, so make sure you have your yellow crayon and you're coloring in the 73 with yellow. What is this picture turning into? Do you guys have predictions? All right. So Tad is now on the 73. And let's move on. Okay. I'll bring in our equation, and we said that today's date is 519, which is May 19th. Tad started on the 63. What was his move? If he added 10, which way did he jump, and how many times? He jumped down once. Hey, we got it. And our equation is 63 plus 10 equals 73. Yep, and, he, and ended on the 73. All right, now I get to do days in school. Let's add another X for today and see if you can write down the number of days in school before I can. Think, how many groups of 100? One still. How many groups of 10? <gasps> Excuse me, still four groups of 10. And how many extra ones? Four. So our number is 144. So 
So this says 143. I'm going to change this to say 44. Now let's write our equations. Yesterday we did 143 equals 100 plus 40 plus 3, but today 144 equals 100 plus 40 still, but not 3 anymore, it's plus 4. Now you need to write two equations that equal 144, one that's adding and one that's subtracting. I'll show you, show you my subtraction equation. Hmm. 155 minus 11 equals 154. Your turn. And now let's work on our quarter a day data collection. Yesterday we ended with $2.25. Today we're going to add another quarter, which is another $0.25. Cents. So over, over here now we have $0.50. Cents. It's $1, another dollar, which together makes 2 And then we have $0.50, cents, so it's $2.50. Let's add another quarter down here. Again, there's $2 right there. 25 plus 25 makes 50, so it's $2.50. Okay. All right. So we are getting a decent amount of money right now, which is awesome. Now, the last page is a new activity, which I told you about at the beginning of the lesson for today. We are, uh, I'm going to have you guys turn to page 64 in your book. So the page you've been coloring in every day has been on page 63. So just go to the next page. And now we have these number puzzles. So you will need to be using the, um, the 120 chart on page 63 because that will help you a lot with seeing if you get the correct answers on this. But let's look at number one together. So, it says, look at each piece of the 120 number mat puzzle. Write in the missing numbers. Use the 120 number mat to check your work. So, that means I want you to use your brain first and write down what you think it is first. And then when you're done, then you can go and check your work on the 120 chart. Don't go get your answers from there right away. I want you to stop and use your brain first, okay? So, we've learned that when you go down on the 120 chart, you're adding 10. When you go up, you're taking away 10. When you go to the right, you're adding 1. When you go to the left, you're taking 1 away. So here we have the 1. Well, what comes after 1? It's going to go 1 something 3. I hope you said 2. Oops, I cannot write with a yellow crayon. That's just not going to work. Got to erase it, but my computer is being a little slow. Okay. Um, all right. One, two, three. And then the three is here. And look, it goes down and adds 10. And three plus 10 is 13. Now, what's 10 more than 13? 23. Look, we're only changing the tens place. We've talked about the tens place a lot with our days and school numbers. So this three does not have a number in the tens place, but 13 does. One is in the tens place, so it says there's one group of 10. And in 23, number two is in the tens place, so it shows that there's two groups of 10. Okay, and now the threes are all in the ones place. So we have one, two, three, three plus 10 is 13, 13 plus 10 is 23. Now we need this box. One is above it, so it means when we go down from one, we have to add 10. So what's one plus 10? It is 11. And then you can check it on page 63 to see if that's what it actually looks like on the 120 chart. So it's just a little piece of the puzzle. Um, you know what, I'll actually take the copy of it over to ours. And we'll see if we were right. Oops, not that one. I've got a quick grab it. Okay. All right, here it is. Look, it fits right here. I'm going to try to make this transparent. Okay. So my puzzle piece is fitting right there. 
look, we got the two correct. One, two, three. I'm going to put it up here. Then it goes 3, 13, 23. Let's check our chart. 3, 13, 23. Hey, we did it. And then it goes 1 and underneath is 11, 1 and 11. So our piece fits right in there. All right, friends, that is your job on that last page. I want you to complete it, then check it. So don't just look for the answers on the 120 part. Actually stop and use your brain and try to fill in the numbers yourself, then check it. And then you can take a picture and put it on CISA. Have fun. I think this assignment is super fun. So I hope you guys love it too. Can't wait to see what you learn.